Hello, good evening, my friends. I can see some faces that I already know. So welcome back to this um, basic level. Bienvenidos. Algo veo rostros conocidos, otros que son nuevos. Placer estar con ustedes. So welcome to the module number three from the basic level. Mm, let's see, Oscar. Hello, Oscar. How are you doing? Good. Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Fine. Okay. Perfect. A question for you, Oscar. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear yes, me? Yes. Okay. That's nice. Yes. 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 Okay. Awesome. That's nice. So welcome. Bien. Vamos a ver. Ah, ya vi las Okay. Nice. I can see that you have had good time. So you took advantage. Veo okay. que todos tienen carita de que se han relajado. So that's nice. I really love that. So welcome back, Carito, the Colombian girl. Hello, teacher. Hello. So how are you doing? Very good. Terrific. Really good. Okay, the top perfect. of the world. Oh, yes. That's no work, no money, right? So we need it. Definitely. It's great to see you again. Okay, nice to see you again, too. I say the same. Digo lo mismo. Gusto verlos uh, for uh, the new students. My name is Josue Cuellar. That's my name. I have been. Ya le puedo mostrar mi credencial. So, uh, this Zoom platform has some updates. Tiene algunas actualizaciones. So I'm checking that now. Uh, some of you couldn't enter to the class because I had to admit you. Algunos no pudieron entrar al inicio porque tenía que admitirlos. ¿Verdad? So that's a part of the updates, parte de las actualizaciones. So that's nice. Well, um, let's see. Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Nice to see you. Okay, I can hear you. Creo que estás hablando. Yes. Hey, Wendy. Yes, hello. Hello. How are you tonight? And I'm fine. Okay, that's fine. I really love that answer. That's perfect. So welcome to, to this class. Bienvenido al grupo más tranquilo, eh, inocente, todas, todas, all of them are so quiet. Todos son, they are like angels. Todos, todos ellos, mira, bueno. So, yeah, that's it. Solo ven las caritas. So welcome, Wendy. We're glad to have you. Estamos... Okay, let's see. Um, else we have here? Oh, Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Good evening, my friend. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, that's perfect. I like yes. to hear that. Did you have good vacations? Mm, nice, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice to see you, Carlos. Here we have Kenya. Hello, my good friend. Hello, teacher. How are you feeling? Good. Really? Did you took advantage? Aprovechaste? Ay, a lo máximo. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. I like to hear that. That's yes. the attitude. Perfect. Okay, here we have also, nice to see you, Kenya. We have Luis. Hello, Hello my friend. Teacher. How are Hello. you doing? Very good. Nice. Very good. Okay. That's perfect. Did you have vacations? Uh, yes. Very good. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. So welcome back. Do we have also Gabriel? Hello, Gabriel. Hello, teacher. Okay. It's nice to see you, my friend. How are you? Uh, very good. Really good. Very good. Okay, nice. nice. Perfect, Gabriel. Nice. Here we have also, let's see, Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Hello, Claudia. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Nice to, nice to meet you. My name is Josue Hello. Cuella, so I'm glad to have you. Okay. Yes, yes. My name is uh, Claudia Coreas. Okay, perfect. Yes, we're going to have some kind of conversation with you later. Okay, nice to see you, yes. Claudia. Okay, yes. perfect. Yes, 
Okay, that's nice. Here we have also Mardo. Hello, Mardo. Hello, teacher. Okay, nice to see you again, my friend. Are you okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, it's nice. Nice to see you. And here we have also um, Steffi. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you mood? How are you feeling? How are you? Feeling okay? Right. Okay. Excellent. Are you at work, right? Are you working? Yes, right? Yes. So yes. as always, uh, let me know when you're at home, okay? So you can uh, participate in all the... Okay. Uh, you already know how. You... So nice to see okay. you, Steffi. Here we have also um, a gentleman, Pinto. Hello. Uh, is... Hello, teacher. Good evening. Oh, good evening. What... My name is Carlos Pinto. Okay, Carlos. Here we have two Carlos. Okay, so you're going to be Pinto, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm Pinto. Okay. Yes, because we have two Carlos here. So Carlos Abrego is Carlos, and you are going to be Pinto. Okay. How are you doing tonight? Thank you. Okay. Are you okay? Good. Fine. Perfect. Yes, I'm okay. 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 I like to hear that. Thank you. And here we have Evelyn Ventura. Good evening, Evelyn. Hello. Oh, I can hear you. Hello, and good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, your face is like very familiar to me. Okay, so <laughs> yes, I already know yes. you. Okay, welcome to, to this group. Uh, these these uh, are like very kind people, very nice. So we're happy to have you here. Okay, Evelyn. Um, yes. Are you okay? Yes, perfect, good. Yes, perfect. Okay, I like to hear that. That's awesome. Thank you, Evelyn. Here we have also Wilfredo Low. Fredo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Wilfredo. Are you at home? Yes. Okay, that's nice. We can see you clearly now. Ya te vemos con más claridad ahora. I like that. Okay. Perfect, Wilfredo. And let me see to finish this. We here we have Edwin Alberto. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Everything okay, my friend? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, perfect. yeah. That's perfect. Okay, good. And here we have, and okay, there are some other students uh, which we're waiting to, but we're going to start the class. Okay, so welcome to we the. Are going to what teacher? I'm sorry. Hello there. Ah, que no se escuchaba, perdón. Ah, okay, okay, no, no problem. Okay, so the thing is like this: I am the teacher Josué. I'm really happy to have you again to my previous course, and now here we have some new students. I know that you have a like positive attitude. And you are like willing to learn. And that's really important to belong to this group because we have a very active class. Tenemos una clase bien activa. Si no le pueden preguntar al resto, ¿verdad? No, no me van a negar que todos participan. Uh, all of you have like a very nice uh, attitude. Uh, something important is uh, your opinions. I'm going to send a lot of activities. Well, not a lot of, but some of them. So you can have more participation and you're going to develop oral skills. Voy a enviar eh, actividades durante el día, principalmente en la mañana, right? Porque la vez pasada me dijo, estaba que le mandar las actividades en la mañana y la actividad eh, son bien sencillas, ya la voy a escribir, okay? Uh, but first, for the ones who, for the ones who don't know me, I'm going to show you my credentials. Les voy a mostrar mis credenciales. So um, this is the, the, the group number three, and this is me. No se parece a mí, pero así soy yo, okay? So that's me. I have like 14 years of experience in teaching. I have taught in different areas, different levels, from kindergarten to high school, 
and I have worked with adults like five years. I trabajo con adults cinco años, pero tengo experiencia en los diferentes. Okay, so that's it. Um, the requirements are very important for to this uh, to approve this course. You already know that. Ya conocen los requisitos. Para que es el nombre completo, verdad? And cuando ustedes inician, but we have some exceptions. For example, Tinto, right? Uh, que son excepciones porque tenemos que buscarlos. En el curso pasado, en the previous course, we have two Jacqueline's, right? So one was Christy and the other was Pat. Right? So that's it. Entonces, en esos casos, sí, sí, eh, eh, bueno, que ustedes usamos otro nombre o el apellido. Okay? Uh, the camera should be turned on all the time. Eh, la cámara es necesario que la tengan activada, but there are some cases in which you have to stand up. Okay? And there's no problem because you have some other activities. Ustedes pueden pagarlas si se levantan, pero de preferencia que la para sí. Okay? Así que hay eh, ciertos. I minimizar el sonido ambiente. Um, so, uh, like, uh, previous course, you didn't present anything like this. No presentaron sonido. Un curso en el que había una fiesta que estaba sonando las cumbias y todo. Entonces, si se le dificultó un poco la participación, la participación, porque esto sí les puedo asegurar que va a tener participación en mi clase. Si no, pregúntenle. Asistencia al 100% de las clases, esa es la diferencia que necesitan para aprobar el curso, es la asistencia del 80%. Eso, sí, pues, aquí, eh, queremos que ustedes tengan 100% de las clases, si hay casos. Teacher. Yes, Kenia. No sé si sí soy yo, pero lo, lo escucho cortado. Ok, um, let's ask tú, Carito. No, yo pensé, que, de, yo pensé que era yo, pero no, si se escucha cortado, teacher. Okay. Let's see here. Um, it is raining near my house. Está lloviendo por acá, entonces creo que es eso. Vamos a ver, Luis. Uh, Aquí también, teacher. Aquí también está con todo el agua. Ah, no. Sí, sí. teacher. Se oye, se oye cortado, teacher. Okay. Igual pensé que era. Que Déjeme era ver. Teléfono. Let me check something. Okay, uh, let's ask to Gabriel. Todavía me escuchas cortado. Sí, todavía. No, 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 no. A ver, se oye más. No se oye bien. Eso. Bardo, what about you? Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, ya, ya se oye mejor. Creo que sí se está se estabilizó. Okay. Eh, si se escucha cortado, pues me avisa. A veces me, me emociona y hablo. Pero eh, les estaba comentando que el 100% de la asistencia es importante. Lo mínimo que solicitamos es el 80%. Si ¿okay? so, so pasa, si hay una emergencia o de persona mayor, yo no puedo dar permisos. I can meet some absence, asistencias, pero pueden eh, darle a la persona. ¿verdad? Si no, pues yo le puedo dar el. La mayoría ya lo puedo hacer. Ahí está. Teacher, aún se escucha cortado. Okay. Lo siento. No problem, no problem. Vamos a hacer algo. Denme tres minutos. Necesito que preparen esta, esta respuesta. Um, what is your greatest achievement? Necesito que en este momento preparen esta respuesta. Kenia, ¿todavía se escucha cortado? Yes, cortado, todavía. No, ahorita no. Okay. Bien. ok, ok, eh, denme por lo menos tres minutos para uh, desarrollar esta actividad. Nosotros le llamamos speaking activities. 
What is your greatest achievement? ¿Cuál es tu logro más grande? ¿Cómo lo van a contestar? My. Y ahí ustedes dicen, my greatest achievement is, y ustedes pueden mencionar cuál es su logro más grande. It can be related to jobs. It can be related to family, to economy, to friendship. Puede estar relacionado a cualquier tema. ¿okay? Es una respuesta corta. Si ustedes pueden explicarla, better. Si no, ya van a escuchar, ¿verdad? Eh, me refiero a los compañeros y compañeras. Cómo contestan los demás y a partir de mañana van a tener una mejor, una mejor idea de hacer esta. ¿Okay? Necesito que me preparen esta respuesta. Van a iniciar así. My greatest achievement is. Sí, vamos. Les daría alrededor de tres minutos para que la preparen. Okay, mientras eh, empiecen a contestar, vamos a contestar. Um, Carito, ¿todavía se ha cortado? ¿Se escucha bien, Carito? Sí. Hábleme más, teacher. Permítame. Ahora, creo que yo creo que es el tema. Ahora, ¿se escucha cortado? Si es, ¿Cómo estoy hablando en este momento? ¿Yep? Sí, o sea, se escucha. Se escucha bien, pero hay como que en una letra okay. o una sílaba se... Creo que ya sé qué es, permítame. Ok. Teacher, ¿por qué no nos volvemos a enlazar? Ok, y ahora, Carito, Kenia, todavía se escucha cortado. Puede que sea una letra, una sílaba. Sí, siempre así como que no termina de decir como la frase, digamos. Yo creo que ya sé. Denme un segundo. Mientras, contesten esta pregunta. Ok, okay Ticha.
Ok, y ahora, Carito, ¿escuchas bien? ¿Te escucha cortado? Hábleme más, teacher. <risa> ok, eh, vamos a probar en este momento si sí, se escucha bien, si se escucha cortado. O si... Sí, se, se sigue escuchando cortado, teacher. Cuando al final de la oración se, se escucha, ¿cómo era que decía Elisa? Robotizado. Ok, no. ok, permítame. Kenia y Elisa. Elisa me está escribiendo que dice de que se fue la luz, no se puede enlazar. Sí, acá empezó a llover y a tronar también. Okay. ¿Quién, perdón? ¿A quién se le fue la luz? A Elisa. Ok. Um, sí, me dijo que le dijera a Ticho. A ver, Kenia, y ahora, igual, estoy probando con diferentes maneras con la configuración, porque no es el device, no son los audífonos. Sí, y ahorita sí, sí. ahorita sí se escucha. ¿no? Ahorita, ahorita se oye claro. Ok, I'm Está so claro. sorry. Sí. La Hoy señal sí. Estar ok, gracias por decirme. Okay, Creo que es una señal, una señal, ya saben de qué. Hay que echarle carbón, No, es una señal de que usted necesita más vacaciones. More vacations. That's the sign. Ok. Um, si hay problemas, me dicen. Okay? Pero no problemas emocionales, románticos o de, de la clase. Ok. So here we continue with this. Um, 80% les había comentado, right? Um, la asistencia es importante. Siempre uh, paso asistencia al, al piso y al final. Right. And a veces son tres veces, normalmente yo lo hago dos. Y necesito que me digan, hi, hello, present, I am here, I am breathing, estoy respirando, lo que sea, para saber que ustedes ya están ahí. Y vamos a tener sesiones uno a uno, ¿verdad? Eh, que ustedes ya saben de qué se tratan las, las sesiones para aclarar algunas ideas. Eh, las tareas, recuerden que son cuatro semanas, cuatro unidades, y por cada unidad, hay cinco tareas, o sea que cada clase, después de cada clase pueden terminar una tarea, ¿ok? Pueden hacerla después de dos o tres clases, pero déjenme ver, para el siguiente martes ya debe estar terminada la unidad 1. Para el otro martes debe estar terminada la unidad 2 y también el midterm, que es el examen de, de un curso. Y así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? El martes, el, creo que es martes 24, creo que es. Entonces, ahí vamos a tener el, el examen. And that's it. El resto ustedes ya lo saben. Right? Siempre ingresamos en, en modo silencioso. Mute. Perdón, no, mute. Mute. Eh, cámara encendida, chat. Tenemos break rooms y así sucesivamente. Y questions. Do you have questions? Si tienen preguntas, con gusto. Si no, pasamos. Ok. Vamos a comenzar. Es hora del show time. Um, explicarles algo antes antes de que continuemos que, que, que vayamos con cada clase es importante que ustedes tengan lista la opinión o su respuesta a las speaking activities ¿qué son las speaking activities? son básicamente uh, preguntas que pueden ser de 
de, de casi de cualquier tema. Lo que necesito acá es que me den su opinión. Your opinion is so important for these activities. Y eso nos ayuda a desarrollar, we develop our skills. Desarrollamos la, la, más que todo la, la habilidad de speaking, eh, la congruencia, grammar, expandimos vocabulario. Eh, a ver, um, hemos hablado de muchas cosas, ¿verdad, Carito? Han habido muchos temas, right? Eh, algunos de los temas controversial topics. controversial topics hemos tenido temas controversiales eh, verdad Luis no me vas a dejar mentir ya han habido pequeños debates verdad Luis right. así es teacher eh, pequeños así debates es. ajá um, eh, a veces que, que estamos con, con Gabriel equipo team Gabriel team Carito que se da un versus es importante pues porque genera cierta emoción que okay? that kind of emotion en Creo que les van a gustar eh, las preguntas que tenemos, bueno, que tengo para este curso. Están un poquito más interesantes. Yes. Y es importante que ustedes, eh, sugerencia, preparen las respuestas durante el almuerzo. O if you have breaks, si tienen recesos, pueden hacerlos ahí, ¿verdad? Para que eh, ustedes las preparen, las lean y acá ya estén pues listos. Si ustedes quieren improvisar, pueden hacerlo. El problema con la improvisación con estas actividades que a veces nos tardamos, eh, nos ponemos nerviosos, ¿verdad? Hay, hay diferentes factores. Pero mientras algunos terminan de contestar esto, ¿okay? vamos a comenzar con eh, la clase How to use infinitives. Pero antes de eso, I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la asistencia. Necesito que me digan Hi, Hello, Good Evening, Present, cualquier palabra. Cualquier palabra que me dé a entender que ustedes están ahí. Right. Comenzamos eh, con Alfredo Alexander Saldaña. Okay. Carlos Alfonso Ramírez. Hello there. No. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Mármol. Presente, Chef. Elivaldo. Sí, Tichera, sí. Recuerdo que te. Ok. Crazy, I'm crazy. Ok, Carlos Pinto. Hello, Pinto. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Carito. I'm here, teacher. That's perfect. Edwin, are you there, Edwin? Present, teacher. Awesome. Elisa. Eh, no, no se puede conectar. Yes, todavía no se ha podido conectar. Sí, me que estaba intentando. Ok, Steffi. Hello. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura. I'm here. Perfect. Uh, Gabriel Beltrán. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Uh, Gabriel Ernesto Duran. Tenemos dos Gabriel. Okay. Yvette Lisette Figueroa. Um, Jacqueline Cristina Rodriguez. Jackie. Oh. Kenia Peñate. Hello, teacher. Hello, Kenia. Luis Abrego. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, my friend. Pedro Abrego. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego. Son familia. Are you relatives? No, teacher. No, para no. mí. No. Sé que eran cuñados. Ok, Marvin Adonai. Hello. <laughs> no, Marvin. Eh, Mayra. No, Oscar. Hi, teacher. Hello there. Rosa. Rosa Lina Alvarado. No, pero no es Rosie. Rosira. No, no es ella, es otra. Rosa. La de Guadalupe, quizá. Ok, Wilfredo, hello. My friend, Wilfredo. Present teacher. Ok. Thank you. Bien, comenzamos. Siempre en cada clase me gusta dar cierto vocabulario. Y aquí tenemos esto. Teacher, uh, excuse me. A mí Claudia. no me pronuncio. <laughs> Ok, Claudia, no te tengo acá, mira. Uh, a mí también. Ok, Claudia no, 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 Yamilet no. Coreas Enríquez, voy a anotar tu nombre. Yes. Porque... Ah, Wendy, bien. tampoco, ¿verdad, Wendy? Sí, no, a mí no. A mí tampoco, okay, teacher. Mardo. Okay. Yeah. Déjame ver. La vez pasada, ¿se recuerdan que a Wilfredo no, no, lo, no lo teníamos, verdad, Wilfredo? Creo que tú eres el que no te tenía. Ok, vamos a anotar un nombre. Sí, teacher. Sí. A veces es cuestión de segunda vez que me pasa. ¿Sí? 
Yeah. And let me see. Wendy, uh, nombre completo, Wendy, full name, please. Wendy. Uh, Wendy Elizabeth Pineda Cantaderio. Pineda, ¿no te gusta el Pineda? Uh, casi no. Estás divorciando, ¿verdad, Wendy? No, broma. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We have some last names that we don't like it. Sometimes we don't like it. No me gustan algunos apellidos. ¿Quién es? Mardo. Mardo, ¿cuál es tu segundo nombre? One name. Solo un nombre. Ah, es cierto. Yes, just one name. And what about your second last name? Ramírez. Second. Ramírez. Just Ramírez one. Pérez. Ah, Ramírez. yes. Yes, I remember that you have another. Okay. Anyone, otra, otro, u otra persona que yo no haya mencionado. Ok. En mi teacher, Claudia sí. Corrales. Claudia, ya me les acuerdo, te anoté. Ok, yo voy a re, yo, okay, voy a consultar eso con soporte. Ok, so thank, thank you. you, thank you for telling me. Cuando sean de, eh, detalles así, por favor, díganme. Ok, es de estar pendiente con eso. Ok, um, this vocabulary, I, well, something that we have. New vocabulary every class. Cada clase les voy a presentar vocabulario nuevo. Esto tiene dos. We have two objectives for this. One is to expand your vocabulary. Es para expandir su vocabulario. Y el segundo es, pues, utilizar estas frases de vez en cuando. ¿Ok? Formas. Eh, yo les sugiero que eh, le, las escriban, ¿verdad? Porque cada clase le voy, a dar, le voy a dar bastante vocabulario. Frases nuevas. O ejemplo. Ejemplo. Cuando decimos, how are you? Decimos, fine. O decimos, good. Pero también podemos decir, terrific. Ok. Luis, ¿qué otra forma podemos decir en lugar de decir fine y good? Uh, very good. Ok. Kenia. Carito. On the top of the world. Yes. Okay. What about Mardo, Wilfredo, Gabriel? ¿Qué otras? En lugar de decir. So so. So so. Okay. So so. Um, I am Ali. <laughs> yes. I am Ali. Estoy vivo. Ah. Y así sucesivamente, right? Porque nosotros eh, normalmente estamos como programados para decir fine and good. Y está bien. It, it, that's, that's good, right? But we can have like variations and we have like different answers. And that is going to, uh, it's going to be like, you're going to present your English like a more extended version. Van a tener como una versión más extendida del inglés. Y, eh, que, ejemplo, pueden hablar cosas básicas, súper básicas. Pero si la dicen de diferente manera, entonces ustedes se, su inglés se va a escuchar bien y, y se va a notar de, de mejor manera. Entonces, este es un claro ejemplo. En lugar, ahora, solo decir fine or good, pueden decir mm, terrific. Terrific, eh, aparentemente es como terrible, pero terrible es terrible. Entonces, terrific es como genial. Very good, on the top of the world. Okay, I'm alive. Hay diferentes frases, ¿ok? Pero en este caso tenemos la siguiente. Ways to say it's easy. Eh, luego les voy a pedir que uno por uno me, me, me pronuncien cualquiera de esas, la que les llame la atención. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. It's a walk in the park. Okay? Como China walk, no walk, ni walk. La L es silent letter, ¿verdad? It's a walk in the park. It's a cinch. Easy peasy. Anyone can do it. It's easy as one through three, o pueden decir, it's easy as ABC. Entonces, eh, en lugar de decir easy, pueden utilizar cualquiera de estas frases. Y eso hace que, que pues, su inglés se escuche mejor, ¿verdad? Repito nuevo. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. It's a walk in the park. It's a walk in the park. It's a cinch. Easy peasy. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. It's easy as one, two, three. It's easy as A, B, C. You say me dicen, teacher, pero ¿y qué, y qué pasa si solo decimos easy? No problem, you can say it. 
pero su inglés se va a escuchar mejor si utilizamos cualquiera de estas frases, ¿ok? Voy a seleccionar algunos de ustedes y me dicen cualquiera de esas, la que les llame más la atención, ¿ok? We start with Luis and then Wilfredo, ¿ok, Luis? Tell me one. It's a walk in the park. Yeah, Wilfredo, Gabriel. Anyone can do it. Can do it. Anyone can do it. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Gabriel Carito. It is it is piece of cake. Of cake, yes. It's a piece of cake. Good. Carito, Oscar. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Oscar Mardo. It is as uh, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, Mardo, Wendy. Anyone can do it. Good. Wendy, Claudia. Um, it's a it's piece of cake. of cake. Good. It's a piece of cake. Yes. Good. Wendy, excellent. Claudia. We go now with Evelyn and then Indo. It's a piece. It's... That's good. Pinto and then Carlos. It's a piece of cake. Awesome. Carlos and then Kenya. It, it is a cinch. Okay, it's a cinch. Kenya Edwin. This is easy. Okay, easy peasy. Okay, Edwin, are you there? Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. That's it. Elisa Vilka, welcome to the class again. Good evening. Uh, it is, is one, two, three, A, B, C. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Entonces, estas frases nos hacen, uh, nos ayudan. Be, well, this is a really helpful tool to us have like a very normal form. Pressing. I'm sorry. It's a piece of cake. Bueno, eh, los que estuvieron en el curso anterior se dan cuenta que yo utilizo bastante. It's a piece of cake. O utilizo esta. Easy piece. Easy piece. Easy piece. Standard. But you can use some others, okay? So uh, that's it. We continue now with this. What is your greatest achievement? Okay. So I'm going to ask to some of you, and then you tell me your opinion about this. Okay. We're going to start with Gabriel, and then we go with Mardo. Okay, Gabriel, tell me. Um, my greatest achievement. Is very able, 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 como se pronuncia? Able, able. Able, able to express myself in public. Perfect. Okay. And that's so important, especially when we as Latin Americans or as Salvadorians, we don't express our feelings, especially men. We have like limitations, right? It's kind of difficult, and if you can do it, that's a big step for you. Gran paso para ti. Thank you. Okay, and we go with Mardo, and then we go with Oscar. My great achievement is being a father of two girls. Wow, that's that's awesome. How old are they, Mardo? Are they 10 years old, 15 years old? How old are they? Um, uh, they one daughter. Uh, one daughter is? Is uh, uh, 17 years old. Oh, okay, 17 years old. And the other one? Um, and second year. Yep. Um, is is as as 50, 50 years old 15 years old 15 no 50 <laughs> okay 15, 15 years old yeah good 15. congratulations mardo okay we go with oscar and uh, later we go with luis please oscar you there oh Okay, see, sí, yes, sir. Uh, my great achievement is, is um, firstly to see God uh, know um, as, yeah, firstly to see God, God 
Yeah, I know it's secondary to be father of the family. I don't know how it um, title. Okay, similar, similar. The second one, similar to Marlo. Okay, well, congratulations, uh, Oscar. Perfect. And we go now with. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And then we go with Luis and Carito. Okay. My great achievement is even obtaining my university degree. For me, it was a dream to come true. Ah, really? University degree? You are an accountant, right? Yes. Yes, congratulations. You are really young and you have Thank your you. university degree. That's a really good achievement. Thank Similar you. Similar to the rest. Okay, but you're talking about academic, okay, academic issue. Okay. Perfect, please. And Thank here you. we have the most innocent girl in this group, right? Carito. Okay, teacher. My greedy professional achievement was getting my master's degree in quality. And did you got it? Did you get it here in, in El Salvador or in Colombia? Uh, the master here in El Salvador. Salvador. Where did you study? Uh, Universidad Don Bosco. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. How was that experience? Good experience? Bad experience? Yes, excellent. I really like it. Perfect. That's good. Thank you, Carita. Congratulations. And now let's listen to Wendy and then we go with Pinto. Okay, Wendy. Hi, uh, my greatest my greatest achievement is when we is when with my boyfriend uh, we bought our house last year. Wow, that's good. That's so romantic. We love romantic <laughs> stories. Nosotros nos gustan las historias románticas. ¿Verdad, Luis? Gabriel, right? We're really happy when we listen to those yes. stories. Thank you. Okay, so that's it. Uh, good. And we go with Pinto. And to finish this round, no le pregunto, solo sino que vamos por rondas. After Pinto, we're going to have Wilfredo. Okay, Pinto. Okay. Uh, let me see. My greatest achievement is to see born my first baby teacher. Oh, wow. Her name is Eliet. She has 20, 29 days. 29. She, ah, she, she is. She is 29. She's a baby. Uh, she is 29 days. She is, she is Come little. On. Okay. Congratulations. Little she looks like her mom. Oh, wow. Well, that's good. I <laughs> guess she's really happy, right? The ref is so happy. Uh, so yes. And I'm, congratulations. I'm Nice pinto. Okay. Good. Thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. And we finish with a quien había dicho Wilfredo, right? Uh, my grass achievement is uh, operator machine. Oh yes, it's part of your job. And sometimes we uh we achieve some activities in our job, but maybe we in the past we didn't think we, we were able to do it. It's another okay. Pensamos que era, no éramos capaces. And when we do it, it's like a, a really good achievement. Thank you, Wilfredo. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, we're going to continue with the rest later. Continuamos con el resto después porque nos hemos atrasado un poco por el tema de audio. Okay. So here we have this. ¿Cómo siempre? I like to show uh, the conversation. Les doy alrededor de what? Sin ver el manual. Me gusta que vean la conversación durante 7, 6 segundos y traten de identificar palabras. Esa técnica se le llama scanning. Cuando ustedes utilizan el scanning, ustedes ven las palabras más importantes y luego me dicen palabras, frases, ideas o de qué trata la conversación o whatever. Okay? So, take a look at this conversation. Ok, nice como sé que ustedes no hacen trampa y son tan honestos. I, uh, yo, yo realmente confío mucho. I trust you. Confío mucho en ustedes. Tienen cara de inocentes. Ok, Edwin, mention one or two words that you saw in the conversation. Please. Una o dos palabras que viste en la conversación. Uh, your mission is to make. Mission, ok, good. Ok, it's mission is to make. Thank you. And what about Evelyn? And then we go with Claudia. 
two words. A mission and visit. Okay, nice, nice. Me gusta cuando ven para abajo así. I don't know why. It's like you are thinking. Mm -hmm. Piensan. Mucho. Mm -hmm. Nice. You have good memory. We go with, que se me hizo Claudia, and then Elisa. Uh, did you hear about? Okay. Did you hear about? Did you hear about? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a question. Good. Elisa and Wendy. Que está viendo para abajo. Okay. I don't know why. Uh, does he visit manager today? Mm -hmm. It's manager today. Okay, Wendy, and we go with Luis. Um, describe a mission or check. Perfect, that's nice. Luis, what about you? Then Carlos. Teacher manager today. La misma okay. Que la compañera. Okay, copiando, copiando, Luis. Okay, <laughs> good. Carlos, what about you, my friend? What did you got? To making manager today is to be to become. Disimula, Carlos, que barbaro. Okay, good. <laughs> That's perfect, my friends. So we go to this. Oh, no, 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 no. Does anybody remember the names of these people in the conversation? Names? No names? Nadie se recuerda. Vamos a ver. Nobody. Diana. Diana. Lady D. And. Uh, I don't know. Celia. Celia, como la canción de la Odan. Yes, that's it. So, here we have a conversation and they are using simple past. Están utilizando, pues, el pasado simple, okay? So, here we have, did you hear? Vamos, uh, como siempre, subrayo. I underline the words that I consider that can be new for you. Que pueden ser como nuevas para ustedes, okay? Obviamente, el did. Ya sabemos que aquí se dice should, no should. Ok. Ya sabemos que es guests. Feel right to mission describes. Aquí es importante la S. Describes. This is mission from. Ok. Any new word? Tenemos palabras nuevas? No, right? No new words. Did, cuando did, básicamente, basically, it's the passive do. Si ustedes preguntan, do you like tea? Están preguntando, ¿te gusta el té? Pero si utilizamos el did, ¿te gustó el té? Ok. Did es el pasado de do. It has the same functions. Tiene las mismas funciones, ¿ok? Ya lo vamos a ver más adelante. Pero en este caso, eh, here significa, tenemos, here, ah, este verbo lo vimos el curso pasado. Tenemos listen, ¿ok? Here es oír y listen es escuchar. What is the difference? You hear, cuando ustedes eh, utilizan el hear, no le ponen mucha atención, pero cuando decimos listen, a veces yo le digo, okay, listen, es como que para que ponga más atención, okay, you pay more attention. So, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out, right? Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most prepared beach hotel by families by 2020 or 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay. Should, deberíamos, guests es invitados. Okay. Guests. Become es llegar a ser business eh, negocio. Entonces la conversación iría así. ¿Escuchaste sobre la visita del director, del gerente, ahora? Sí, I did. Es como decir, I do, pero en el pasado, I did. Sí, eh, deberíamos de estar listos para eh, contestar las preguntas acerca de la misión y la visión de la compañía. Vamos a leerlas. Ok, imagínense, trabajan ahí. No las conocen. Ok, our mission, nuestra misión es hacer sentir nuestros o, o hacer que nuestros invitados se sientan en casa, from check-in to check-out. 
cuando ustedes van a un hotel, uh, check-in, se registra, check-out, salida. Igual, when you go to the airport, you, you go to check-in and check-out. Then they say, right, cierto. Our mission describes, eh, nuestra misión describe por qué existe nuestro negocio. Y nuestra visión es llegar a ser el hotel de playa más preferido por las familias en 2020. Es correcto. Nuestra visión dice dónde nuestro negocio, eh, dónde queremos que nuestro se vaya. En el, okay? Entonces, lo básico, vamos es esto. Lo fundamental, porque con eso vamos a tener eh, actividad para mañana. Vision and, eh, mission and vision, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces, la misión describe, misión describe por qué existe nuestro negocio. Y la visión, ¿verdad? ¿a dónde queremos llegar? Ok. So, did you hear? Should guests become business. Any difficult words? ¿Tenemos palabras difíciles? No. Ok, entonces necesito que me pronuncien cualquiera de las palabras que he subrayado, pero voy a subrayar answer, 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 power, vision, vision, that's right, future, 2018 o 2020, bien. Pronúncime una de las palabras que se seleccionó. Okay. Comenzamos con Luis. Ok, Luis, you go and then we go with Edwin. Ok, teacher, business. Thank you. Um, we go with Edwin, Kenya. Yes. Ok, um, Kenya, Evelyn. Answer. Good, Evelyn, Elisa. That's right. Good, Elisa Pinto. Um. That's right. Ok, Pinto, Claudia. Eh, okay. Um, who else? Claudia, right? Ok. Um, we go with Mardo and Wendy. Business. Good. Wendy, Wilfredo. That's right. That's right. Wilfredo. Answer, 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 answer. Okay, perfect. So we're going to have some practice. Vamos a tener una práctica corta, como de dos minutos, porque se nos estamos un poquito atrasados. Okay. So, Carito, can you please? Podría tomar una captura para los que no tienen el manual y me los mandas, please. As always. Oh, okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Party okay. chosen one. Ok, vamos a practicarla. We're going to practice uh, this. Apago la cámara porque casi siempre, a veces, bueno, Carito a veces me hacía unas capturas y salía con caras algo raras, right? Entonces prefiero evitar los stickers y todo eso, right? Vamos a no, practicarlo. Peter, no se preocupe que ya lo, lo recorto. Solo ah, deme un segundito you, que Carito, no lo encuentro en el WhatsApp. Yo creo que se me eliminó. No. Carito, sácale el mejor perfil. No, please, please. <laughs> No, yo creo, Carito, que tú no has ingresado al grupo, porque es otro. Mm, ay, sí, es cierto, ¿no? Yo no he ingresado al grupo. Se lo voy a mandar, si quiere, usted me lo reenvía mientras okay. yo entro al grupo. Tiene razón. Okay. Ya lo voy a enviar. Bueno, antes que nada, ¿quién no está en el grupo de WhatsApp? ¿Todos están en el grupo de WhatsApp? ¿Sí? Yes. No, oh. yo no, ya, ya voy a entrar. No, carito, no. Pero sí, el resto. Yes, right. Ok. Eh, vamos a enviar ahí la conversación si no tienen el manual, ¿verdad? Eh, si vamos a practicar. Necesito que ahorita en unos, ¿qué? En los 30 segundos mientras estoy ordenando los grupos, eh, perdón, las parejas, practiquen ustedes. Porque después voy a seleccionar a dos personas o a dos equipos para que pues la pronuncien, ¿ok? Thank 
teacher, la imagen para practicar. Ahorita. Sí. Ya se las envío, ¿ok? Ok, necesito que acepten la solicitud Oscar y yes. Steffi, Carlos, Steffi Vaz, creo que debajo de Vaz. Ok, Wendy, eh, necesito que aceptes la solicitud. Yes. Igual Evelyn y Carlos, ábrelo. Me la puede enviar, por favor, otra vez. Okay. No sé dónde verla. Se la envío a ti y a Evelyn nuevamente para que la sepa. Evelyn, este, ¿aceptaste la solicitud? Evelyn, sí, sí te llegó la sí, solicitud. Sí. Ajá, sí, sí. Te, ¿te sacó o tú te saliste? No, no. Lo que pasa es que... Me parece acá. Ok. Eh, Carlos, ¿estás ahí? No sé qué está pasando acá, pero es que te saliste, creo, del grupo eh, de, de, de los Breakout Rooms. Te di a aceptar y veo que está Carlos y no. tú. Bueno, no sé. Ahorita, ahorita acepta. Ya te lo envié, ¿no? Our mission revise why our business existing and and our mission is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's why our vision told we our business want to 
get in the future. Okay. Okay. Initial. Uh, ¿Quién empezó? ¿Usted o yo? ¿Ah? No me acuerdo. Okay, yo. Entonces. Bueno, ya... Okay, welcome back. And here we have this short conversation. Wendy, here we have Wendy, Mardo, Gabriel. Okay, um, we're going to have this uh, short conversation. Gabriel and Mardo, were, you were together, right? Estuvieron juntos. Yes, teacher. Can you please practice this? Yes, yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Comienzo yo. Yeah, please. Sí. Yeah. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did with Shelby ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's write them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check out. Hi, our mission describes we all business exit. And, and our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. That, that's right. Our vision told we how business want to get in the future. Future, future, future yes. Future. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Should, okay. Should read describes. Con eso al final describes. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now here we have Pinto. Who was your classmate, Pinto? Who were uh, you practice? Where? Elisa. Okay, Elisa, please. Can you? Okay. Okay, action. Okay. Did you hear about the visits of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to answer questions about the mission and the visit of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check in, check in to check out. Right. Your mission describes why your boosting exists. An ambition is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2022. That's right. Your vision del where your busan wants to get in the future. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Our business. Sí. Algo que me gusta que ustedes están, bueno, y escuché algunos que, que en donde pude entrar, que están utilizando las pausas. Pausas are so important. Por ejemplo, acá. Right, our mission describes uh, why our business exists. No decimos, right, our vision describes why our business exists. No se trata de, de, de hablar rápido, ¿verdad? Sino pausado y bien pronunciado, ¿ok? Es como acá. Ok, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from checking to check out. That's it. That's it. 
Thank you very much, my friends. Okay, we continue with this activity. And here we have, these are brands. Brands significan marcas, okay? Like this. Brands, for example, Chevron, Starbucks, Amazon, Nike. And here we have like, um, these are successful companies and here we have missions. Tenemos las misiones y tenemos las marcas, okay? So we're going to start here. And Luis, please help me with uh, one of these. And then we go with uh, Carito. What do you consider? Um, what mission belongs to Chevron? So Starbucks, Amazon, Nike. Okay, Luis, select one. And then we go with Carito. Do you need time? Uh, B. Okay. Recuerda, Luis. Follow your heart. Sigue tu corazón y todo va a estar bien. Okay. Everything is going to be fine. Okay. B. Uh, to be? B. To be the global energy company most admired for its people, partnership, and performance. Yes. Performance. Admired. Mm -hmm. What, what what is it? What enterprise is it? Um, Chevron. <laughs> yes, ya ves cuando escuchen su corazón, si no pregunten a Wendy, right, Wendy? Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> carito, Carito, and then we go with um, Claudia. Okay, the theme to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. It is, yes, athlete. It is Nike. Athlete. Nike. Nike. Yes, Nike. Athlete. That is special for athletes, okay? For sports and all those uh, things, okay? Here we have uh, Claudia, please. And the last one is going to yes. be for Carlos. Uh, a, B, no, we B, have A B, or, or D. A or D? D. Okay, D. D. To inspire. D. To inspire a natural the human spirit on person, on cup and one neighbor at a time. Yes, neighbor. Uh, Amazon. Time. Is it Amazon? Okay. Estamos hablando de cup. Cup significan mm -hmm. tazas. Is it Ajá, Amazon? Uh -huh. No es, por, no, no es por hacer, ¿verdad? Pero aquí dice Amazon, but no, no es esta taza, no es esta taza, ¿ok? So, ajá. Uh -huh. Comercial. No, no. Publicidad, teacher. Ah, ni me están pagando por eso, ¿ok? So, uh -huh. so yes. Yeah. Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks, ¿ok? That's it, donde café vale como 30 dólares. Ok, that's it. And here we have Carlos, my friend, to be the most customer. Ok, to be the most customer customer century company in the world where people can find and the discovery and nighting the what to be only to buy online mm -hmm. so definitely online. yes it Amazon. is okay so fine mm -hmm. admired admired porque está en pasado es un regular uh, inspired human human se recuerdan de human resources recursos humanos human resources okay cup Cup, como cupcake, and neighborhood. Okay, perfect. Mañana vamos a ver las misiones o visiones, missions or visions of your enterprises. Okay, we continue. Yes, and this is the topic. Este es el tema en sí. Infinitive. What is infinitive? Um, infinitive indicates the purpose or intention of an action as an emphasis. It, like, emphasizes the action. El, ¿Qué es el infinitivo? Si me dicen, teacher, what, what is infinitive? El infinitive simplemente es el verbo, pero que lleva al to. To cook, to drink, to send. ¿Ok? Los infinitivos son verbos no conjugados. ¿Ok? Listen. They are not used in, with, with third person with you, with he, with, with, with they, or whatever. No, they are just proper verbs in the base form. Están en su forma base. Y así los encuentran en el diccionario. Así los encuentran en diccionarios en línea or in whatever. Okay, two. Entonces, tenemos acá. 
Si es acá, uh, here we have one, two, three, four. Tenemos, we have four sentences. A ver, Wendy, eh, puede decirme dónde está el infinitivo from sentence number one. ¿Cuál es el infinitivo acá? She came to collect her paycheck. Ok, think about it. Te lo dejo ahí un momento. Eh, no problem. To collect? Yes, to collect. Elisa, what about number two? Pronounce it and then uh, say and then say the infinitive, please. Pronounce it. Uh, the three, the number three. two, um, to find. To find. Ajá, ¿y cómo sería? The three bears, no beers, porque beers es cerveza. Y hoy no se puede. Ok, so the three. The three bears. Ajá, uh -huh, bears. The bears went to find firewood. Firewood, yes, thank you. Ok, Edwin, what about number three? I am. Um, calling. Ok, I am calling. Ask. ask. You, mm -hmm. I am calling to ask. I am calling about. to ask you about the. Mm -hmm. Y le estoy, te estoy llamando para preguntarle sobre papá, por esas veces que nuestro papá o nuestra mamá se va, así nomás. Ok, Evelyn, what about number four? Your sister. You, your sister has gone to finish her homework. Yes. What is the infinitive there? ¿Dónde está el infinitivo ahí? ¿Cuál eh, es? To finish. To finish, that's it. Entonces tenemos en el primero. Thank you. La primero, ella vino a recoger o a tomar el cheque, su, de, el de pago, el dos es los tres osos fueron a encontrar, ¿verdad? Eh, madera para el fuego, I'm calling, te estoy llamando para preguntarte y la última, tu hermana se ha ido a finalizar o a terminar, ¿ok? Entonces tenemos este ejemplo que es para identificar, to indicate the purpose or intention of an action. O sea, hace énfasis en eso. And here we have some other examples. Tenemos otros ejemplos. The two infinitive with question words. Entonces, utilizamos el infinitivo, pero también eh, en una pregunta. ¿Ok? O en una palabra que utiliza pregunta. Ok, Pinto, number one. Can you read it, please? And then read the complete sentence and then say, where is the infinitive? Then we go with Gabriel. She asked me how to use the washing machine. Mm -hmm. So, what is... is to use. Perfect. That's it. Thank you. Gabriel, and then we go with um, Carlos. Um, yep. Uh, do you understand, understand, understand what to do? What is the infinitive? Um, to do? Yes, thank you. Uh, Carlos, and then we go with Kenya. Okay. Take me win to print the bot bottom. The bottom. Bottom. Mm -hmm. bottom. Bottom. Okay. The press. Uh, to press. To press. Thank you. Uh, we go with Kenya and then Mardo. Okay, I, teacher. I, I have is I. I have or I. I forgot. Um, it. I forget where to put this little screw. Screw, screw. Mm -hmm. Screw. What is it? Uh, to put. Thank you. And Mardo. That's I'm one. I'm not sure I know who to call. Mm -hmm. To call. To call. Kevin? Easy peasy. It's a piece of cake. Easy. It's easy as ABC, right? Todo fácil. This is for babies, okay? So we continue with this with a worksheet. Vamos a una, ya con los ejercicios, what are we going to do? Just to add to. Solo le vamos a agregar to a cada uno de esos verbos. Easy peasy, okay? That's uh, like, it's a cinch. We're going to start with uh, Eli and then Carito, okay? Okay. Whatever, whatever you want. Uh, From one to ten. But say the number first. Number one. Okay. With this uh with the size 
decided, uh, decided. De decided. We decided. Uh, oh, se me olvidó la palabra. <coughs> okay. We do a new car. No, no, me gusta que estás inventando él. But relax. Oh, ¿qué okay. <laughs> <laughs> Le gusta inventar a él. ¿Cuál es el infinitivo? Two. Eso. Nos ayuda a identificar los infinitivos. Eh, in ya estoy inventando, mira cómo. <laughs> ok, so. <clears throat> so, Eliata. Todo me está dando, mira, mujer. So, we decided. Ajá. To, to, to buy. To buy. To buy a new car. <coughs> We decided to buy a new car. Perfect, Ellie. La primera siempre <coughs> se pone así como tenso. Thank you, Ellie. Good. Eh, Carito, and then Luis. Number six. Mm -hmm. Do you know what to do if there is fire in the <coughs> shop? Perfect. Luis and Kenya. Number five. Okay. I enjoy to write picture reports cards. Okay, easy peasy. Kenya, Evelyn. Okay, teacher. Four. You like to fly an airplane. Airplane, como la canción de los Red Hot Chili Peppers. Thank you. Evelyn and Mardo. Uh, number three. Okay. Peter gave up to smoke. To smoke. Que bien, dejó de fumar Peter. Thank you. Eh, Mardo, and after Mardo, we go with Wilfredo. Okay, I guess Mardo is uh, busy. So, Wilfredo and Steffi. Number nine. Yeah. I dream about about, about to build a built house. Okay, perfect. Um, I dream about, yes, Steffi. And after Steffi, we go with Claudia. I'm hoping to see Lisa. What number? Always remember to say the number. I'm hoping 10 to see Lisa. Thank you. Okay, uh, yeah. Claudia and Wilfredo. Uh, number two. Yeah. The They be got some work to do. They've got. Mm -hmm. Ok, mm -hmm. esta frase cuando decimos they've got es como que decir they have to. Ellos tienen que. Okay. Ah. Thank you. Yes, perfect. And who else? Who else? Wilfredo, right? No, con quién me quedé. Ya me perdí. Um, ok, sí, Wilfredo no está. Wendy. Mm, eight. Okay, and my, then Oscar. Uh, my parents wanted me to be home at 11 o'clock. At 11. Mm -hmm. Mis papás mm -hmm. querían o me querían en casa a las 11. ¿Cuántas veces ustedes no hicieron caso? Oscar, your turn. Yes. Okay. Seven. Seven. Uh, I've always do maize. Silent mistake. Yes, avoid. Avoid significa evitar. So avoid is uh, to make a silly mistake. No, avoid, uh, evita, hacer, uh, meter errores. Oh, errores tontos, ok? Good, thank you. I'm sorry. Let's see. Vamos avanzando. Some other sentences. We go now with Carito and Edwin. Whatever, from one to six. Okay. John has decided to apply for the new job. Yes, thank you. Okay, who's next? Um, then Luis. He can get used to work for such a big company. Okay, thank you. Puede hacer una pausa aquí, Luis. Cuando decimos get used To significa acostumbrarse. Por ejemplo, I can't get used to. Recomiendo que anoten esta frase. Es, es muy, es aplicable. I can get used to uh, work. 
throw oh to walk no mejor throw ah to sing in Paris no me acostumbro a cantar en fiestas o no puedo acostumbrarme a o pueden en lugar del don't I don't no me acostumbro como una canción de salsa que se de Ray Ruiz okay I don't get used to sing in parties I don't get used to dance in parties I don't get used to sing on uh, to to eat onion no me acostumbro a comer cebolla whatever get used to significa acostumbrarse uh -huh. Entonces, cuando decimos, he can get used to, no se, él no puede acostumbrarse a trabajar para esa co gran compañía. Eso significa number three. Okay, get used to. Okay, Luis, my friend, your turn, and then we go with Pinto. Number four. Yeah. Her mother advised her to write to several different companies. Yes, good one. Okay, Pinto, and then Claudia. Number six. Yeah. Carol is too ill. Go to work today. Okay. Uh, sorry, Pinto. Number, okay. Okay, Claudia. Okay. Number five. Number okay. five. Five. Carol uh -huh. is. Carol is to ill. Go to work today. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. Perfect. Pinto, your turn, and then we finish with um. Number Mardo. six. Yes. Go. Have you, decided? Have you decided where to spend your next holidays? Yes. Awesome. Mardo, number two. And then you can. To socket uh, to drive to the seaside. seaside. Okay. Seaside. So, okay. Suggestive. Suggestive. Mm -hmm. Don't suggest it. Okay, Carito. Tell me. Dime tus pecados. Yes. <laughs> no tengo mm -hmm. okay. I don't know what, what it means Carol is too ill I don't understand ah, eh, el to to significa dos cosas to significa también mm -hmm. pero también to es similar a un very por ejemplo I'm too tired Okay. Digamos, eso para estar romántico y ustedes no quieren nada. I'm too tired for those things. Si ustedes están cansados <risa> para cocinar, I'm too tired. I can't cook. Entonces, estoy muy. I'm too busy. Estoy muy ocupado. I am too. So, too, it's similar to very. Ok. En este caso, Carol está muy enferma para trabajar. Le podría decir también, teacher, estoy tan cansado. Uh -huh. I'm too tired. Mm -hmm. I am too okay. tired. También se puede, I'm so tired. Solo que a veces cuando decimos I am so, es porque vamos a dar una buena excusa. Okay. I'm so tired of your lies. Soy tan cansado de tus mentiras y bla, bla, bla. Y ahí, you know what? Saben que sigue. Okay. Some other questions? Questions, questions? No, no questions. Thank you. Perfect. It's a pleasure. Okay, we continue. 26 minutos y terminamos la clase. It's good. Good sign now. Okay. What is your greatest achievement? Okay. I want to hear some other opinions about this. And I guess you have good, good stories. Okay. So for this, we're going to listen to Edwin. And then we go with Steffi. Okay, Edwin, your turn, my friend. Okay. My greatest uh, achievement is to have my own house, which I was oh. able to share with a lot of effort. Yes. One of the best feelings is to have your own house. Definitely. Especially in Sabor. Yes. Okay. Congratulations, Edwin. I like to hear okay. uh, stories of success. Me gusta escuchar historias de éxito. Okay. I love it. Historias de amor y de éxito, the best. And we go now with who else? Who else? I was asking to. ¿Quién se me escapó? Por estar pensando en las historias de éxito, le había dicho. A Stephanie. Thank you, Luis. Thank you. Ah, Steffi. Ok, doble. Te va a tocar doble actividad mañana. Ok, Steffi. Estás escondiendo. Gracias. 
Ya. <laughs> Bromas. Ok, uh, Steffi, and then Claudia. Ok, my greatest achievement is ascend to supervisor. Oh, really? When? This year or the last year? Or two years ago? Three years ago? Uh, ya voy a tener un año. One year. Congratulations, Steffi. That is a really good feeling, right? Yes, nice. Vamos a celebrar. Um, we go with Claudia, right? Claudia and then uh, Evelyn. Uh, yes, uh, my great achievement uh, uh, continue studying, studying um, and spare time with my family. Definitely, it is the best thing you can do study and spend time with your family, okay? Yes, good for you, Claudia. Great, recuerden, great, y el otro es greatest. Great, greatest. Okay, good. Nice, we go now with Evelyn, and after we go with Mardo. Ah, no, Ardo, Mardo ya pasó. Uh, so sería Evelyn and Ellie. My greatest achievement is uh, University study completed. Oh, wow, that's good. Uh, what is your uh, degree? Degree es el título. Uh, what did you study? Administration de empresas. Okay, con... business administration. Good. Business administration. business administration. A very interesting career. Yes. Congratulations. That sounds Thank really you. good. Okay, we go with Ellie and then Carlos. Teacher, excuse me, no estuve presente cuando dio las preguntas. Estaba tratando de armarla ahorita, pero no la logré. Estabas intentando Arma. mentirme. Ok, no problem. No, okay. no, no, no estaba. <laughs> no, quieren, quieren. Relax. Ok, what is your greatest achievement? ¿Cuál es tu logro más grande? I'm going to give you time, ok? No problem. Take your time. Toma tu tiempo. Ok, and we go with Carlos and then Kenya. Please. Ok, teacher. My yep. greatest achievement is win. I going in, in the marine marine with my equipment. Okay. Winning what? I'm sorry, I didn't hear very well. Winning, ganar, right? Something. No. 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 Okay, can you eh, repeat again, es please? Como, es como para digamos que estoy cuando obtuve el matrimonio. Me uní en con mi ah, when you get married. Okay, romantic yes, stories. Yes. Wow. Yes. Hey, han venido bien romántico este, este curso. Okay, I guess. Nice. Creo, I guess all of you are going to give surprises. Van a dar un par de sorpresas. Congratulations. Carlos, when did you get married? When? Cuando? Eh, bueno, ya tengo five, five years. Five years. Yo creo que dijiste que estaba soltero. O sea, ya, vamos no, a no, no. Ah, quiere, no, no. Okay. No quiere, <laughs> broma. Good. Congratulations to you, Carlos. That is some, that's a very important step in life. But depends, depends. Ah, recuerden que estuvimos hablando de, 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 de casarse o no. Se recuerda en ese tema. Estuvo bien interesante. Okay, so, but people who decide to, to, to do it, that's good. And people who decide not to do it, it's okay as well. Okay. Perfect, Carlos. And Kenya. Okay, what about teacher. you? Yeah. My greatest achievement is to graduate in industrial chemistry technician. Ah, technician. Uh, technician. And I have a party with my family and friends. And us, y nosotros. Yes, right? Yes, of course. We're going to celebrate your, your achievement, Kenya. I hope you can do it from the bottom of my heart. Cuando yo digo así es, desde el fondo de mi corazón. Yes. Eh, de hecho, hay una canción de... I just called to say I love you. Que significa, solo llamé para decirte que te amo, que dice esta parte. From the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my heart. Okay, good. Um, let me see. We continue. Thank you for all your answers. I really love to listen to your opinions. Okay, here we have this. 
Here we have check exercise two and three, what verbs are used to write the mission edition statements. Bien, entonces tenemos eh, que hay verbos. We have verbs that they are special to write mission and vision. ¿Verdad? Son especiales para escribir misiones y visiones. Ahora, las misiones y las visiones en las empresas siempre se hacen con un infinitivo. Crecer, uh, proveer, um, what else? Ser. Y todos eso, los verbos, those verbs are not conjugated, no están conjugados, sino que son verbos en su forma base. Entonces, por eso que cuando dicen ser la empresa más innovadora de El Salvador, ¿verdad? Um, lograr y todo eso, todo eso son verbos infinitivos. Tenemos to make, to become, to be, to bring, to inspire. Y tenemos to make, become, bring, inspire. ¿okay? Entonces, si tenemos acá, ¿Cuál podría ser? Y le voy a preguntar a Luis. Ok, what do you think? We have option one or option two. ¿Cuál crees, Luis, que podría ser? We can use for mission and vision. Option uh, one, option two. Option one. Definitely option one. Yes, porque tenemos one. el two. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. Ok. Uh, forms uh, that consist in two uh, of two plus base form of the verb are called infinitive. Yes, I don't know if it's almost infinitives. That's so many problem for nosotros. Okay. Infinitives. Carito, can you help me read it? Infinitives are used to express. Okay. Infinitives are used to express purpose, like in mission statement. In G, why does the company exist? To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, thank you, Carito. Cuando decimos EG, significa. Ejemplo. Sample. O sea, en síntesis, ejemplo. por ejemplo. Podemos decir, for example. Pero EG es example given, es similar a, for example. Okay. And here we have this, the second. What about um, Pinto? Can you help me with the second part? If infinitives are also used to express. Infinitives are also used to express directions like an vision statement. A.G., where is the company going? The vision is to become the most preferred beach photo by families by 2022. 2022, very nice. Updated, ya actualizado, right? Thank you. And here we have, and tenemos esto que las missions responden a la pregunta, why does the company exist? ¿Por qué existe la compañía? And on the other hand, on the other hand, here we have vision. Y responden, they respond to the answer and to the question, where is the company going? ¿A dónde va la empresa? So, two different times, okay? So that's it. Thank you very much. We continue. Okay. Read the statements below, correct? Uh, the, the four mistakes related to use of infinitives. Compare answer with a par, okay? I need you to read this and tell me if is there any mistake. Vamos a ver si hay algún error. Por ejemplo, acá, our vision is to become. No sería is become, it's to become the number one provider of office supplies in San Miguel, okay? Um, I need you to take a look. Aquí vamos a ver, Wilfredo me va a decir uno. Okay, Wilfredo, take your time. Voy a seleccionar algunos de ustedes. Okay. Sí, bueno, well, we, if we have uh, volunteers, si tenemos voluntarios, go ahead. Okay. Three. Okay, number one, Wilfredo. Okay, that's the attitude. Three. Number three. Okay, si está, si está correcta, if you can say, oh, it's correct, y la lees, pero si no, pues la modificamos. Yes, um, eh, Wilfredo, de Kenia. Okay, number three. Eh, uh, está incorrecta, dice. ¿Cuál es? Uh, what, what is the mistake? ¿Cuál es el error? I, I am. Okay, okay. Este aim. Es como, es, es correcto. Parece como que dice I am, pero es I aim. 
I aim es como nosotros nos proyectamos o nosotros esperamos llegar a ser. Es como to become. Pero lee la completa. We aim to be. When we aim to be the number one gaining service provider for financial institution. Okay, number one of cleaning service provider provider for provide. financial. Acuérdense, finance, financial institutions, okay? Uh, thank you. So that's correct. That's the correct. Kenya, what about you? Okay, teacher. Uh, number five. Okay, uh, then we go with Luis. Okay, five. Yes. Uh, sería to be. Uh, please, can you read it complete? Uh, we a vision to be leader in the distribution of energy drink in the region, region uh, regional market. regional market ya me estás inventando que okay nice <laughs> yes to be hace okay. falta el to be thank you that's perfect yes. and luis what about you are you ready for this and then we go with gabriel no with wendy Wendy, porque Gabriel se acaba de incorporar. Ok, Luis. Ok, teacher, number six is uh, incorrect. Ok. Uh, my company vision is to become the most preferred uh, asylum for adolescents. El verbo se tiene que mantener en la forma Basic. normal. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. yes. Sería to become. To, to become. become. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that's it. That's, mm -hmm. That is awesome. Good. Thank you, Gabriel. Ok, good, Luis. Perfect. And what about Wendy? Are you ready for this, Wendy? And then Marto. Um, what? What is incorrect? What number? We... I'm sorry. Four. Four. Yes. Okay. Yes. We ask it to bright telecommunication solution for business in rural areas. Rural areas. areas. Mm -hmm. Areas. We exist to brain, no con ING. To brain, to brain. To brain. Thank you. Very nice, Wendy. Uh, Mardo? Number two is, yeah. is correct. Okay. Can our, you mission, our mission is to provide healthy, tasty, and economic meals to construct, construction workers wherever they are wherever they are. Thank you, Mardo. Carito, do you remember what is wherever? Yep. Do you remember what is wherever? Uh, let me see. Wherever, como sea. Mm -mm. Como sea es however. Whatever. Whatever es lo que sea. ¿Ah? Donde sea. Yes, donde sea. Good, thank you. Whatever, whoever I can say. Okay, excellent, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo veo que no, no, no me he practicado, no me han practicado los últimos apuntes. Good, vamos a hacer, vamos a refrescar. Okay, um, listen it. Okay, what is it? I'm going to, well, we're going to listen to a, a short audio. It's like 38 seconds, son como 38 segundos. I need you to pay attention and to write as many words as possible. Depends on you. You can write or you can memorize or you can, because uh, after that, you're going to say what words did you hear. Uh, you can say phrases, ideas. Después me van a decir que escucharon, ya sea palabras, frases, ideas, or whatever. Okay? Just give me a second. Recomiendo, I recommend you to have pen or pencil. Para que escriban.
Ok, let's listen. I'm going to play twice. Dos veces lo vamos a escuchar. Speech on value time. They don't waste time on unnecessary things. And when they get free time, they do creative things. That means they utilize leisure time in productive ways. A student who knows how important time is for his life can succeed in his future and lead a disciplined life through time management. If we all want to manage our time, then we must make lists of works, prioritize tasks, and set goals to achieve. Okay, nice. We're going to listen again. Speech on value time. They don't waste time on unnecessary things. And when they get free time, they do creative things. That means they utilize leisure time in productive ways. A student who knows how important time is for his life can succeed in his future and lead a disciplined life through time management. If we all want to manage our time, then we must make lists of works, prioritize tasks, and set goals to achieve. Okay, very nice. We're going to see what words did you identify? What words did you take uh, notes? Okay, so first we go mainly with Carlos and then Oscar. Mm -hmm. Can you mention one, two, three words, phrases or ideas? Okay, teacher. Necessary team, important, the picture. Okay. No problem. That's good. That sounds really nice. Oscar, and then we go with Wilfredo. Um, necessary task management, discipline, most chief, uh, mayor, uh, house, and, import. Okay, nice. Wilfredo and Evelyn. And speech, really time. Why life months necessary influence on time? Okay, good. Evelyn, and then we go with Steffi. Necessary is in future, Chief. Uh, they don't. Okay, they don't. Good. Steffi, and then we go with Gabriel. Time necessary, life important. Management. Management. Okay, very nice. And Gabriel? Okay, had student software necessary. Okay, nice. Does anybody know the topic of this speech? Carito? The speech of value of time. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Speech. Thank you, Carito. That's it. Speech on value of time. Cuando decimos speech, se refiere a un discurso. Obviously, it is very short. Es bastante corto, right? So here we have speech on value of time. We're going to listen one more time. Lo vamos a escuchar una vez más. Así pueden, pues, chequear sus palabras y ver, eh, bueno, leer de acuerdo a cómo escuchan en el audio. Speech on value time. They don't waste time on unnecessary things. And when they get free time, they do creative things. That means they utilize leisure time in productive ways. A student who knows how important time is for his life can succeed in his future and lead a disciplined life through time management. If we all want to manage our time, then we must make lists of works, prioritize tasks, and set goals to achieve. Okay, definitely we have new words in there, okay? So, for example, when we say leisure time, leisure time is practically free time. Cuando tienen tiempo libre, that's leisure time. 
And what else? Succeed. Mm. Tener éxito. Okay. So prioritize. Priorizar. Prioritize. So um, this activity, we're going to have this activity every class so we can have like different types of pronunciation. Las pronunciaciones que vamos a escuchar no van a ser necesariamente las mías, sino de otros compañeros o compañeras para que pues, podamos captar eh, y pues entender diferentes tipos de acento. Okay, we continue now with this. We're going to have a free conversation. Vamos a, le voy a dar un par de segundos. Bueno, un par de minutos para que tengan una free conversation. ¿A qué se refiere a esto? Eh, si gustan, pónganse de acuerdo qué van a preguntar. Ejemplo, se va Steffi con Wendy. They are together. Y ustedes, eh, no quiero que solo tengan una, una conversación libre, sino que hagan una conversación libre. Para cuando yo diga, ok, Wendy, Steffi, vamos a ver. Y ustedes comiencen como a entablar una conversación. Pueden hacer tres cosas. Uno, anotar las preguntas que se van a hacer. Dos, practicarlas ahí durante el tiempo que les doy, que van a ser poco porque ya solo nos quedan 12 minutos para terminar la clase. Y tres, pueden improvisar acá. It's up to you. Depende de ustedes. La conversación tiene que ser por lo menos unos 40 segundos. ¿Ok? It's easy. 40 segundos en conversation es bastante fácil. You can ask about personal information, favorites, free time activities, work, family, descriptions, um, whatever. Pueden hablar acerca de los gustos, de la familia, del trabajo, información personal. It's up to you. Okay? So I'm going to give you like a couple of, of minutes. Questions? No questions. Okay. 12 minutos para terminar. Solo le voy a dar como unos 3 o 4 para que se preparen. Okay, my friends. So see you in a moment. Lo veo en un momento.
¿Qué pasó, Sefi? Did you have? Yo estoy solita. Está solita. Ok, ya te envío a... Uh, uh, no, 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 no aceptes eso, no aceptes, sorry, sorry. Es que estoy viendo okay. que estamos parejos. Me quedo solita. No, ok, let me see. Rosalina Alvarado, go. We have a new student there. Te salvaste por hoy, este. Medio, medio te está salvando. No, 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 no te alegré. Así sí me gusta. No. Me voy a presentarme. <risa> <risa> Qué mal. No, ok. Prepara cuatro preguntas. Ok. <gasps> En, ca en caso de que te toque, en caso de que te toque. Okay. Para cuatro. Solo escribirlas en caso de. Preguntas a quién? A, a, a quién yo quiera preguntar. Preguntas como que si vos estuvieras una conversación, ¿qué podrías preguntar? Sencillo. Más que no se preguntó a esto. Ok, hey, come on. Try. Intenta. Sé que puedes. Hi, how are you? Hello, Rosalina. Are you there? Is that for you? Yes. Okay. I lost my fish, but. Okay, no problem. I can't see you. Can you turn on your camera, please? Okay. Hello, welcome to this module. I'm sorry, maybe you had some problems at the beginning. Tenías problemas al inicio? Yes. Oh. Okay, but but now. Okay, that's perfect. I, la, uh, I like that. Okay. Um, did you study with Evelyn, with Andy, with Wendy, with Pinto, the last course? Yes? No. No. My first it, okay, okay. Well, I hope you can have good time with us and believe it. You're going to have good time with, with this group. Definitely, okay? Thank yes, and um, something that was explained to them, it is that I always um, send oral uh, speaking activities during in the morning. So you can prepare your answer and at the class moment, you can give your opinions, okay? So I'm going to okay. be sending these questions in the morning. A veces solo es una o dos preguntas que yo envío. So you prepare your answer and be ready for the class, okay? Okay. Okay, yes. That's perfect. That's awesome. Okay, good. We're going to wait for the others because we have just five minutes and we're going to finish this class. But, como que no quieren venir. Okay, Wendy, who was your classmate? ¿Quién fue tu compañero o compañera? Who was um, your uh, Evelyn. Okay. Can you do it, please? Eh, corta. Pueden hacer corta, okay? Um, Action. What uh, What do you do in in your free time, Evelyn? In my free time is I watch TV, a movie, uh, or I visit uh, in the park with my nephew. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. The other question. Or, yeah, yeah, the second question, please. Um, what is your job or your office? Uh, Evelyn. Mm -hmm. I, I work in Iron Man and I a production production planner in in, in the company. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. We're going to have another couple and we're going to we're going to, to, to finish. Thank you, Wendy, and thank you, Evelyn. Let's listen to what if we listen to Luis, who was your classmate, Luis? Okay, teacher con Claudia. Okay, go. Vamos a improvisar. Adelante. Show time. Yes, yes. Yes, Cla uh, Claudia. Uh, my name is Luis. Yes. Uh, uh, good. 
My name is Claudia. Uh, where do you live? Um, I live in Sonsonate. Claudia, oh, um, uh, um, este, I am, I am work. Uh, I work in, in Santa Tecla. And you? And I am work in San Salvador. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you, my friends. Vamos a detenernos acá porque ya vamos a terminar. Yes. And that's the attitude. Good, Luis. Good, yes. Claudia. Recuerden que acá uh, tenemos que yes. soltarnos. Eh, no sientan la presión de que nos vamos a equivocar. Intentemos. Cuando intentamos, logramos. Ok. Y pues basándonos en eso, vamos a ir mejorando. Ok. Uh, I, I can assure you that. Puedo asegurarles eso. Ok. Thank you for your willingness, por su disponibilidad, your positive attitude. Eh, ya se nos terminó la clase, solo quiero explicar una cosa. Vamos a tener una modalidad nueva, que a mí me gusta hacerlo ya en el módulo 3. La pregunta se llama, what's the name of this song? Como ustedes ya saben, yo no puedo programar música ni ponerles videos, ¿verdad? Por el tema de derechos de autor, pero podemos poner fragmentos de canciones y vamos se lo voy a asignar de acuerdo al, a, a la lista, ¿verdad? Así que el día de mañana Carlos Abrego va a ser el encargado de esta actividad ¿Cómo, cómo es esto? Yo les traigo un ejemplo van a traer un eh, pedazo de la canción, puede ser el coro puede ser una estrofa, yo les traigo este, vamos a leerlo pero Pero lo tienen que cantar para agarrarle el ritmo. No, si no. está bien perra con inglés. Si tú quieres sí. cantar y bailar, adelante, ponerle sabor. But it is not necessary, ¿ok? Entonces, esto dice lo siguiente. Quien esté encargado de traer la canción, solo lo va a leer. No necesariamente que lo cante con el carito porque le gusta la rumba. Pero ustedes solo léanlo y nosotros averiguamos qué canción es. Por ejemplo, I know your eyes in the morning sun. I feel you touch me in the pouring rain. And the moment that you wander far from me, I want to feel you in my arms again. ¿Alguna idea? No idea. Esta canción no la conoce la mayoría, creo. No, que si no la canta, el ritmo está bien berraco. No, ok. Entonces, ¿Tal vez de Black Eyed Peas? No. Eyed Peas. Okay. Me, voy, me, voy, me gusta que están inventando. I like that, but no inventan tanto. De, 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 de ok, de que yes. es. ¿70? No, pista. ¿70 casi? Ay, okay. sí, yo había nacido que tengo como 50. Ok. De Creed. Mm, casi, no, casi, por ahí, ¿Qué, casi. ¿Qué dijo Oscar? Credence, credence. Entonces la canción comienza I know your arms in the morning sun. Creo que todos la conocen. Uy, sí, sí, sí. No. No. Yes, that's it. The Muy bien. How deep is your love? Carito. Ya, ya ves que can, ve que cantando le, la gente le agarra el No, but it's a, a clue. Es una pista nada más. Entonces, yes. Easy. ¿Pero qué tipo de música puede ser, teacher? Solo whatever. de los años 70 y 80. Como ustedes quieran, whatever. It can be updated, puede ser como actualizado. Ok, no problem. Eh, yo les traje esta porque es la que se me ocurrió ahorita. Right? Entonces, ¿qué van a hacer? Van a, van a compartir pantalla. O sea, cada uno tiene que ir aprendiendo a compartir pantalla de su celular o de la computadora. Me leen la frase y no dicen el nombre de la canción ni, el, ni la banda o el cantante y tenemos que eso nos va a ayudar a, a conocer los, los gustos y vamos a ver pues una parte entretenida, ahora lo importante es que ustedes lean antes de la clase no van a venir I know your eyes no, tienen que, tenemos que venir eh, preparados I know your eyes in the morning sun I feel you touch me y así Sí, se capta, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a tener speaking activities y vamos a tener esto. Pero el día de mañana le toca a Carlos Abrego. Si captaste, Carlos, ¿ya? Yeah. Sí, teacher. Sí. Si tienes dudas, me escribes durante el día y yo, yo te aclaro. Ok. Una duda. Ok. Está bien, está bien. No problem. Así que vamos a hacer. Eh, tienen que hacer canciones en inglés. No me vas a traer una rumba, carito. Ok, relax. No me vas a traer una de Celia Cruz. No, in English, please. In English. 
Ok, I'm going to check the attendance list. Reviso la lista de asistencia y decimos adiós porque ya nos pasan unos minutos. Ok, así que eh, Alfredo Saldaña, no. Carlos Alfonso Ramírez, no. Eh, Carlos Abrego, yes. Thank you. Eh, Pinto. Present teacher. Nice. Carito. Here, teacher. Good. Edwin. Present teacher. Nice. Elisa. Present teacher. Good, Good. night, group. Nice. Steffi. Present. Nice. Evelyn. Mm. Present. Good. Gabriel. Present teacher. Nice. Kenya. Present teacher. Luis. Good. Thank you very much. Pre present teacher. Marto. Nice. Good night, people. Good night. Oscar. Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Eh, Claudia. Eh, Wendy. Present teacher. Good okay. night. That's nice. Okay, perfect. So, see you tomorrow. Lo veo mañana. Okay, bye bye. Have a good night. Descanse. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Ay, se acabó. Bye. Okay, we were waiting. We are waiting for the this participant that unfortunately he couldn't be here. So um, we are having a brief review about what we started tonight. Here, have this. Here we have how to use infinitives, okay? So how to use infinitives, here we have this equation that is very important because it is about mission. And here we have the vision that is like the main topic of this short conversation. In here, and here we have Diana and Celia. The conversation starts like this. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. And then here we have this. Read the mission statements of successful companies. Match them to the companies on the right compare your answers with a partner. And definitely here we have four successful brands. And here we have the missions. It is important to match the mission with the 
successful company. To be the most customer centric company in the world where the people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. It's Amazon. B. The global energy company most admired for its people, partnership of and performers. That's Chevron. To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. That's Nike. And the ND to inspire and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. It's Starbucks. The main topic is the two infinitive. The two infinitive to indicate the purpose or orientation of an action. In this case, to has the same meaning as in order to or so as to. Examples. She came to collect her paycheck. The three bears went to find firewood. I am calling to ask you about that. Your sister has gone to finish her homework. So in this case, here we have to collect. Here we have to find, to ask, and to finish. Those are the four, the four, um, Infinitives used. Now here we have this. The two infinitive with question words. The verbs ask, decide, explain, forget, know, show, tell. An understand can be followed by a question word such as where, how, what, who, when, plus the two infinitive. And here we have some examples. She asked 
me how to use the washing machine. Do you understand what to do? Tell me when to press the button. I forgotten where to put this little screw. I'm not sure I know who to call. So in this case, here we have to use, to do, to press, to put, to call. 